So uh, without further ado, our first speaker, Yu Tim Beck, who will be talking about real-time depth estimation using hybrid camera system. Hello, my name is Yu Tim Beck. Uh, the, the title of this pre presentation is Real-Time Depth Estimation Method Using Hybrid Camera System. Uh, before explaining uh, this presentation, I'll introduce the, my school, the Gwangju Institute of Science and Technology. GIST is the research-oriented university and funded by the Korean government, and it is established in 1993, and just ha has master degree and PhD degree programs and financial support. Uh, here are content. First of all, I introduce the overview of stereo matching and motivation of each work. And I'll talk about the proposed method which contain rectification and color correction and hybrid stereo matching. After showing some exper experimental results, I'll conclude this presentation. As you know, depth acquisition is the, one of the most important requirements in many 3D applications. Well, depth can be used in many immersive 3D content. And depth equation can be classified into active sensor-based method and passive sensor-based method and hybrid sensor-based method. Active sensor-based method use active like IR sensor and depth sensor. And active sensor emit the light and then detect the reflected light to estimate depth. And passive sensor-based method use passive sensor First sensor detect the natural light from the sun or the lamp. An active sensor-based method can be implement, can implement in real time. However, it, we can obtain the lower resolution than passive sensor-based method, and it requires expensive devices, and there are uh, many depth ambiguity in depth surface and shiny surface and unmatched boundary and optical noise. Passive sensor-based method uh, can generate higher resolution depth map, and it does not require expensive devices, and we can use outside, but there are uh, depth ambiguity in homogeneous region and texture region. And it, it is very time consuming job. And hybrid, depth, hybrid sensor based method combine the, combine the active sensor based method and the passive sensor based method to estimate, estimate the depth. What is the stereo matching? Stereo matching uh, determines the disparity with, uh, using the stereoscopy image. And the stereo matching can be classified into local and global method. Local method measures the pixel, dis pixel dissimilarity using the local support window. Therefore, it, it is much faster than the global method. But global method uh, solves the, solve the energy function via optimization method, and there are many applications uh, such as 3D TV and FTV and human interactions. Uh, this slide shows the pipeline of proposed method, post rectification and color correction, and TF warping, upsampling, hybrid stereo matching. Uh, this slide shows the hybrid stereo camera setup. <coughs> we mount the to stereo camera, and we said we install the active sensor under the two passive sensors. And to accelerate the, this proposed method, uh, we separate the method into offline step 
and online step. In the online step, we use CPU or GPU processor to estimate camera parameter and then find the rectification metric and obtain color transform metrics. In the online step, we can use GPU to rectify uh, stereoscopy image and transform color and do TOF warping and upsampling and do hybrid stereo matching. <clears throat> As you can see this figure, the f-polar line on each side are parallel to each other. Uh, because the two cameras location are different and being, being direction are different, uh, this line represents the baseline and this point represents the camera center and this plane represents to the plane. As you can see this figure, the two camera center are on the baseline and the rotation are different. So uh, we can obtain the unnectified uh, stereoscopy image. To rectify the stereoscopy image, uh, we use the two projection metrics to calculate the 2D homography metrics. Uh, in the online step, you can use 2D homography metrics to rectify the stereoscopy image. Uh, even though we use the same time of the color camera, the color mismatch occur between the views Be uh, due to the light conditions. Uh, to transform the color, uh, we first match the correspondences between the view using the 3D warping technique uh, with depth. After matching the correspondences, uh, we find the color translation matrix A. And then in the online step, we use the color translation matrix A to correct color. And we use the hybrid camera. So each camera capture at different point position. So in order to high resolution depth map on the position of the corresponding color camera, uh, we use 3D warping tec technique. The 3D warping technique is consists of two steps. First step is backward projection, and second step is forward projection. In the backward projection step, the point uh, are moved from the 2D to 3D. Uh, in the uh, forward projection, the point move from 3D to 2D. Uh, we can use this uh, equation to uh, move the point. Uh, however, the warp depths are sparse, uh, so, and there are many holes in the depth map, so we use mean filter to interpolate the hole. And, and then we, we can use the initial depth map to reduce the disparate search range. And next step is matching cost computation step. Uh, in this step, uh, we use modified uh, sensor transform method to calculate the uh, matching cost. Uh, for example, given the window, we first we found find the center pixel, sensor, center pixel value using the uh, three by three mean filter, and then compare neighbor pixel and center pixel. Uh, if the neighbor pixel is greater than center pixel, we assign one. Uh, if the neighbor pixel less than center pixel, we assign zero. And then we transform the window to 1D vector, and then we use the Hamming distance method to calculate the cost 
and then assign the cost to the cost volume. Uh, however, there are many errors and noise in the cost volume, so we use the guided image filter. It, this filter is the one of the edge preserving filter, uh, which can suppress the noise while preserving the meaningful structure. And it's much faster than variable filter. The, this W represents the weighted kernel, and C represents the cost volume. And this, this slide shows the color correction or result. Or as you can see, the reference and or between reference and target, there are distinct uh, color differences. The reference is more uh, lighter than the target. Uh, however, the between the reference and C uh, corrected images, the <coughs> the color differences are reduced. And this slide shows the result of the object objective evaluation uh, in terms of Euclidean distance of color space. As you can see this table, the proposed, mess, proposed color correction method uh, outperform the conventional method. And this slide shows the hybrid stereo matching experimental result. As you can see, uh, this uh, depth map, uh, we can obtain uh, higher accurate depth in the homogeneous and textual region. Uh, this slide on another experimental result. And we, we can obtain depth maps at 13.3 to 90 frames per second with 450 by 375 pixels. However, uh, we can generate depth map at 1.723 frames per second for HD images. This, this table shows the processing time for HD images. The cost aggregation steps uh, is the best time consuming and CPU to GPU data transfer and G GPU calculation and volume uh, construction steps are second and third. And to reduce the time complexity, uh, we have to enhance uh, those steps. Uh, this conclusion. <clears throat> to estimate the depth, we use the hybrid camera system, which contains passive sensors and active sensor. And to accelerate and to speed up the method, we separate implementation step into online and all offline step. And uh, so we can speed up the stereo matching method and uh, we can increase the disparity quality in homogeneous and textual regions. Okay, thank you.